Good afternoon, my name is Brian Wynn and I'm the engineering manager here at Orient Motor. I would like to welcome you to our live demo featuring our 7-axis articulator robot. The 7-axis robot consists of seven products from our AZ AlphaStep hybrid family. The patented AlphaStep hybrid control system that drives this demo combines our high efficiency motor with a mechanical encoder to give you a low heat, high performance control that will meet your every needs. Let me give you an overview of the system that you'll be seeing today. Starting off, we have a laptop, a Windows laptop running ROS. ROS is short for Robot Operating System. This allows the software to talk to all the hardware on this demo. Uh, the communication between the two devices is handled by a USB to our RS485 serial converter. Inside this frame sits the power supply and necessary components to keep me safe while this robot is running. Each one of these axes is controlled by our AZD-KRD mini drive. Uh, this is essentially a slimmed down version of our popular AZ drives. We reduce its size by eliminating all the physical IOs, so it's operated solely by communication protocol. Power and communication on these drivers are also daisy chain, thus simplifying connection. All the motors used in this demo are part of our AZ family, meaning they all have AlphaSep hybrid control, high efficiency motor, and a mechanical absolute encoder. I'll first start off with this guy here. This is our DGM-130R AZAK. It's a 130 millimeter rotary table attached with a uh, 60 millimeter NEMA 24 motor. Uh, this actuator can support up to 450 pounds when the load is directly on top and can provide up to 12 newton meters of torque. So this makes it a, a good platform to mount the rest of the motors to. Next up is our AZM66MK-HS100. This is also a 60 millimeter motor with a magnetic brake attached and a harmonic gearhead. Next up is our AZM46MK-HS100. These are our 42 millimeter motor with a magnetic brake and harmonic gearhead. The next three motors are our 28 millimeter NEMA 11 AZ motor with a harmonic gearhead. Last but not least, we have our end effector, EH4-AZAKH. This is our rack and pinion based electric gripper that will handle your products with a delicate human-like grip. Now I'm going to go back to the laptop to show you the control environment. The window on the left is used to start and stop the demo. Notice a command and feedback along with the motor and driver temperature. This gives you a good update on what the system is doing. The window on the right is monitoring various parameters from the drive that can be used for predictive maintenance. I'll go into more detail shortly. Let me go ahead and start the demo. Here, the robotic arm will start by picking up the cubes and moving them to various predetermined locations. Keep in mind at any time there can be seven axes of motion working together. If we focus on the vertical movement of the gripper as it picks up the box, the up and down motion requires three motors to work in unison. I'll pause a little bit to let you view the demo in action. Also, remember if you have any questions, please let us know through the Q&A section. Like I mentioned earlier regarding the predictive maintenance, the AZ has a plethora of monitoring capability. Don't mistake this for alarm conditions, which are more severe and will cause your machine to stop. Predictive maintenance only monitors and output warnings. However, if these warnings are not addressed, it will lead to alarm fault. Let's take a look at the screen to see what you can do with this information. Here, each column represents an axis. The first axis is the DG130 rotary table. And if we make our way to the right, ID7 is our EH gripper. Let's focus on the blue bars that are moving back and forth. These are displaying the load that is exerted by each axis. Below that row is the maximum output from the motor as this demo is running. The percentage can also 
be represented numerically. Utilizing this information, you can monitor any sudden changes in behavior. For example, under normal operating condition, axis 1 operates at about 40%. Let's say all of a sudden, this value starts to increase. This can indicate that components may be worn out or need servicing, or something abnormal may be having to the load. Don't get me wrong, these motors should last over 5,000 hours under normal operating condition. Once those conditions are triggered, you can start taking action before it's too late. This is just one example of the many available parameters. I'll list a few more so that you have a better idea. We have overvoltage and undervoltage. This can indicate that you have an unstable power supply. Overvoltage can lead to drive damage, and undervoltage can cause performance issue in terms of motor losing its torque. We also have overload time, over speed, and also trip meter, to name a few. Again, the benefit of this is you don't have to track these yourselves. You can use our free MEXE software to set your limits, and the drive will self-monitor and let you know when those conditions are triggered. Then you can take action based on what you want to do and how you want to proceed. In addition to the products you see on the robot today, I want to take a few moments to go over the other products that we have in the AZ AlphaSep hybrid control family. We have Ethernet, IP, and EtherCAT compatible driver in both AC and DC. We have the stored data, which has, also has RS-485 communication. We have a post, dedicated post input drive, and also a variation of that that has RS-485 output for monitoring. In addition, on the DC lineup, we have AZD mini drive, and also EtherCAT multi-axis driver, available in four, three, and two axis configuration. To pair with these drives, we have the following motors. We have a stand around shaft, taper hop, we have planetary right angle, planetary harmonic, and harmonic gearheads. We've also partnered with NewGuard to provide a planetary gear that can handle higher thrust and axial load. We have the EH gripper, we have linear slide, electric cylinders, we have rotary tables, we have our DRS compact actuator. These we have four different configurations and you can check them out on our website. And last but not least, we have our rack and pinion system. Thank you for your time today, and for, thank you for visiting our virtual booth. Please feel free to explore, and let us know if you have any questions. Message us or visit us on the website at www.orientmotor.com.